end of one. Probably. You should probably do that. Hi. So, Scott. Your you like mic dragons? is really popping bad today, Messi. Like, do you like dragons? Out. I'm, I'm not going to play this stupid joke over and over again. Goddamn zoomers in there. Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. That's the same joke over and over. It's like D's all over again. Uh, or Ligma. Oh my god. Never times I had to hear, uh, what's his name? Ligma Dunce. Balls. Dunce talk about Ligma. I'm like, Dunce. Like, I guess it was kind of funny the first time. We're on 87, bro. It's been a week and a half. Rena, I want <laughs> you to take charge of this stream so that it's not terrible. Oh. I don't uh, even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's got a, got, a, got a sad face going on because uh, he wants um, he wants items that are awesome but don't require attunement. Chat, do you have any suggestions of items that are awesome but don't require attunement? Oh, yeah. Uh, look up Ligma. He had his headphones on, Scott. I know he had his headphones. He made a mistake. Oh, of course. Of course. I don't want to talk shit about Messi when he's not there. Um, so my voice... to me. <laughs> when you're not there... Yeah, Rafa you, came into my chat. You checked the said VODs. Talking, she Wait, what, said you were talking shit about my bangs yesterday. Oh, oh, I, that wasn't allowed. That was in mm -hmm. chat, like typed mm -hmm. out directly to her. It was awesome. Uh -huh. No, no, I understand. I get it. She, uh, she was throwing shade at me in chat, and then she used like. Oh, your, so you're saying you were provoked? Is it? Yeah. Okay. So she used the Rena Wrath emo against me. Like, you want to fight? She, I was like, I was like, you bringing bangs? Can you even see me? Uh, I thought it was funny. Um, it's actually really offensive to the bank community. You're a protected class. The bank, banked community is a wait, the banged community. Guess we don't have to worry about them in the black flame candle. So, um, the uh, uh, what was I gonna say? So the, I was finally having my throat healed. Like I could finally talk without it hurting. And then I wear a mask all day at work. And now I, my fucking throat is killing me again today. It's so frustrating. So it Scott, tries, you mask? tries you out. It, it, seriously. You just sit there and like, you have to like talk, like project and you have to speak funny. I'm like, God damn it. When, when can I take this fucking shit off? It's been so long. <laughs> so annoyed. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not even joking. It's not going to be until like March or May, is it, Rena? No, yeah, not not anytime soon. I'll give yeah, you, you got that. another six months of this. Oh boy, my patience is finally running out. It's been a year and a half. Oh boy, start applying for work One from home more jobs. Year. Oh God. That or we have to Good promise idea. to bail the other out of jail. Uh, are you going to jail for? We're gonna start beating people up. Honey West <laughs> is in there, I heard. Well, Can you start off with a particular person that I'd like to? Uh, the list. The list is long, Tyler. Listen, I'll add them. Listen. Okay. Good. 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 Appreciate that. Yeah, I, I just want to see something really quickly. So, if you're looking at percentage of population, Massachusetts still hasn't crested seventy percent. God damn it. Massachusetts, people don't realize this. Massachusetts is this really dumb backbone. We're uh, a predominantly Catholic state. Um, we have this really dumb backbone of just like hard right wing morons that, that exist here. And you don't realize it because like you have Boston and like other like super lib areas that like bury it deep. But like there is a hard right backbone here. That's why we usually have a Republican governor. And the fact that we've been we were at 62%. We were like the first states to get into the 60s. And then we've been, we're still at 69.2% fully vaccinated. Like it's been so long. Actually, I think according to time zones, wouldn't it be Japan was the first one to hit 60s? I mean, I have no idea. The 1960s, right? Oh. <sighs> I mean, you beat California into the 60s. Where's Japan? Okay, so then that's where New we're going to start D&D. New Zealand would be uh, uh, out of Japan. 
Japan's Drop a like, pin. Japan's like plus nine, but New Zealand's like plus 12. So, uh, I mean, even Guam is plus 10. Do you know Marshall the beginning Island's of time 12? in which the, the first side oh, was actually crusty? Samoa the plus 13. The most? Because uh, technically we can't islands. fully determine that our time zone is accurate in the sense of the beginning of time. So therefore, all of your answers in this particular instance are invalid. Thank you. No, time you. Joy, 70% if you include the whole population and not just uh, 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 eligible. I, I only count total population, not just the population of eligibility. Because like mass, so Maine is 70% if you include children um, and whatnot. But they still hit they 70. Approved, they approved so. children vaccines Speaking yet? of which, I'm getting my third not about, shot. Not younger than 12. Oh, you're getting a booster? Yep, because cool. I'm immunocompromised, boy. Hey, Pog do. Oh, one dose. Oh, boy. Um, by the way, 70% is, is really good. It's really bad when you're looking at uh, that's a New C, England Scott, and we're dragging. That's not very good. That's average. 70% is, is what's considered the minimum to be um, a uh, C. have heard vaccination. So it's actually really good. It's 68% in Florida. Hmm. Where's Florida? Apparently 68.1% has received at least one dose. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find Florida. Sorry. It's way down uh, there. 59% are fully vexed. <laughs> yeah, 59.2. Where's Arizona? Ooh. We have a fun one. Ha. <laughs> Arizona, 52.6. The worst one is the uh, U.S. Virgin Island Isles. Uh, North Dakota is the worst. 45.7. Uh, hmm. What's Alaska? 52. Okay. Damn. So I would have expected a different number. I won't lie. Because they're so uh, loosely populated? Yeah. It's like, who's going to know? <laughs> I just hope I don't have a reaction like I did to the second dose where I had a fever. Honestly, stuff. Tyler, oh, I, I imagine God. you the won't have as big of a reaction <laughs> because it's not so quickly afterwards. Your body's not so revved up. So uh, We'll see. I know it was 43. The reason I don't want a reaction like that is because I'm traveling the next day. <laughs> oh, that's rough. So Are you flying? Yeah. That sucks. How far are you going? to the other coast no that's like eight hours and and like oh, oh yeah no well do you, do you know what kind of plane you're gonna be getting on are you allowed to say where you're going answer his I, question i don't like saying specifics just like i don't like saying specifics about a lot of no stuff. no no you're fine do you know what kind of plane you're getting on i uh, i i could look it up but oh. I, 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 I'm looking forward to the first day I get to fly on a 787. He's taking the... Um, I do have a layover. He's but... taking the private Mark, mark Jet. No, yeah, if you have, if you have a layover, I can afford that jet. jet. If, if you're on a layover, Mark player would be that jet. He's flying them direct. If I could afford that, there's no way I'd be doing this for free. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's this... It's this. It's a fighter jet that has a wharf stash painted on it, and it says Mark player was here on the side, and he, he lets stash? all his friends hop on. What's a wharf stash? What the fuck, Messi? You didn't know? It's Tesla. It's a Tesla brand jet. Okay, moving on. Uh, don't take me seriously. Ever. We don't. Thanks. My brain just broke. I know. Do you not know what a wharf stash is, Tyler? But Tyler, do you like dragons? That's what I thought. No, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, I don't want you to drag these nuts on my face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Maybe next time. Next time there won't be a next time. H Hi, Rena. Who is that? Who is that? Wait, Scott, who is that? Um, Let's see. That was Charlie Chaplin and... um. Uh, Lady Gaga. Actually, no. uh, j jokes aside, I know it was Eminem, and I think it was Rihanna. Yes. I could be wrong on the Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna was right? No, okay. you're right. That's it. That's it. I wasn't so sure on the female part. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, because I, I thought he did a collab with Pink, so, so I wasn't sure of which one it was. I don't know. Um, Actually, I think that was Pink. I have to look it up. 
That's no, Rihanna. It, was, it wasn't. <laughs> it's Rihanna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the name of that song? Uh, it's, the it's way monster, the way right? you love. Is I think the name of the oh, song? No, monsters, Kanye. Oh, it is. Mind. It is. It is Rihanna. Okay. Yeah. Ah, I was right the first time. Okay. The genius should never second guess themselves, right, Rena? Mm-hmm. 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 You want to recap? Uh, you got yelled at for being evil people. Um, got uh, teleported, inconvenienced. Um, uh, got uh, ruffled feathers against somebody who was trying to, uh, you know, uh, slip you a couple of twenties in your pocket, and uh, then got escorted to the border. Sure, I guess. Does that pretty much cover it? That's good enough, I suppose. Do I need to do a little bit more than that? A cult began. I guess just uh, the details leading up to where we left off. Okay. Uh, um, so, thanks. But jokes aside, what is Wharf Stash? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> don't don't even explain it. Just okay, just, please. It, I'll send no. you some pictures. How about that? I'll send okay. you some pictures. I'll just Google it. Somebody wrote it in chat, so I can I see yeah, the spelling. Yeah, you can just look it up. All right. Okay, Wilford, Mother Love and Warfstash. Wilford Mother Love and Warfstash is a man who looks and sounds much like Mark himself. Mark, I assume Mark Applier <laughs> is the. Oh, because it's Mark Applier <laughs> yeah. fandom. Okay. Cool. Right, yeah. Recognize for his distinctive pink mustache. Okay. Yep. This is something I could have lived without. It wasn't worth looking up. No. It was just a it was a throwaway gag about the jet that Markiplier owns having a wharf stash on it. That's Which all. Mark does. It's like a Markiplier own a branded jet. jet. How many jets does Mark have? Well none. A couple. He's got a handful, actually. Yeah? That's good news. Yeah, he's got the ones that can take off vertically, which is really cool. That's that's pretty baller. I don't think Mark's yeah. ever coming back for your birthday stream messy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my one. It's okay. With you making up stories about him at this point. <laughs> Come on, it's funny. I mean, it's got to have a sense of humor about himself, right? Otherwise, I mean, he's not invited. He? <laughs> I think I think I think he's I think he's upset, Messi. I think he's gonna be so upset he's not invited. <clears throat> so um, should we uh, never know? Should we uh, get into the game or something? Is that something that should transpire this evening? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So um. When last we left off, you guys were just crossing the border. What? We were? Yeah, just crossing the border into Paradell. You were escorted oh, to the border. Um, uh, and they're like, yeah, we don't, we don't like your kind here. And you're like, bro, that's pretty, uh, and you're like, no, 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 not like that. I mean, like douchebags. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Like, it still seems a little aggressive. And they're like, well, you did kill a lot of people. And you're like, you might have a point. What do you mean? Ovius didn't kill anybody in that town this time. Where's the proof? There you go. I'll fix it for you, Messi. Show me the bodies. There you go. I took care of it. There was that drowned man in a barrel of water or something. That was that was Rena's fault, though, so nobody else has to take blame for that, I don't think. Yeah, I haven't killed anyone. Sorry, I just sent you something I forgot to send you last week. Me? Oh, Scott. Oh, cool. I'll check it out. So, um, uh, I improved the stream for you there, Messi. Does that make you happy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. Good. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I like anything that pisses off Tyler. Frankly. That's not nice. 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right. Uh, I mean, poor Tyler was an egg for so long. Tyler never gets to just be Tyler. He's always stuck being some like stupid. It's gotta be this old it's, al guy. it's always Messi's fault. Oh, uh, all right. Tyler, so, I'm sorry. I talked about the war stash too much. I honestly never even you heard of it before, and I'll I'll probably forget about it sometime in the near future. Okay. Good <clears> idea. <throat> there we go. All right. Yeah. Problem solved. I got rid of the stash. And here, I'll even do this. I changed the color. Actually, no, let's just do this one. Throw it aside. There we go. Cool. Everybody happy? Rain will be good to go now. Okay. Um. <clears throat> All right. Let's get into this. You guys are led to the border um, uh, of Peridot, uh, just outside of where Adir and um, uh, Adir and Hodgwen. I uh, was uh, uh, led by Hod Gwen's uh, guards by some of the military um, over to where literally the uh, the border of Paradel and Idiris. Um, this is over by a city by the name of. I'm actually trying to get to that map right now. Uh, uh, hang on, we weren't led by military, Scott. Yeah, I don't think the we were by ourselves. Yeah, I don't think the guards led us. Oh, Remember, we were snuck. Yeah. We were Shizuru. snuck out. Yeah, they snuck out because of my cultish fiendish plan. Oh my god. I'm taking them to the sewer. I genuinely and... forgot that. Thank you, Rita. Yeah, I was like, that doesn't sound yeah, I was right. I a little bit confused, but that's okay. Yeah, so it's like, actually just the three of us the, right now. The military is looking in the town for Ophios while the, they were snuck out remember by you were like yep. i want to i, skip, I want to skip oh, all this yeah okay cool. so so you guys start <laughs> heading out and you're heading oh uh, which you guys ended up heading um uh, i believe you were heading south uh west we were heading uh, east east we were heading was east. it straight east you were going through yep. meshes and they knew we were going to head straight east too but yeah. yeah yeah you had said that yep okay cool thanks for reminding me that's honestly one little detail that's super fucking important that i forgot so oh cool okay. awesome um let's uh let's go so uh, when you guys are heading east, uh, if you're actually looking at the map of uh, Adir, if you uh, recall what that map looks like, um, did you want to stay to the north of the river or the south of the river? Is this a the new map? No. The only reason why um, oh. this this question matters is because the south of the river is, so the north of the river would bring you by Astrad, which you've gone through before. Astrad is that city there, like everybody had died before and there was two gravestones. Um, Messi went there for a cobbler once. South of the river uh, brings you to the area that's still Adir, but that river south of the one that you're currently on is Paradel border. So I didn't know if you wanted to say north of the river that you're on or south of it. Which and place did we leave? Sorry, can you ping us where we are currently? Yeah. So you guys were in Hot Gwen, right? Yeah. We're east, yeah. Oops, sorry, no snapping. Oh, you're, this you're is, heading east. This is it is... south of river or north of river? Probably, I would, I would, I just I would assumed think. north. I honestly just assumed north. Why? I would have thought south. Are we trying to get to that other river to go down to Osto? What did, uh, here's so the trying to question. get to Osto again. This, this, is this down here is, is, this down here is now, uh, Paradel. Yeah, so yeah, that's, is, that's is the Paradel question. Now. That was the question of, uh, as far as, like, what information they were given in there. Because o Ophios doesn't know a lot in this moment it was the information that was given to yondis and rena about what's going on with paradel and the border as to where the best crossing would have been as they were advised by the slumbering queen or what so the so last time the it was determined that the fastest route would be by the river but we didn't want to do that because we want to take the boat because because of you so we are not going to take the river but maybe we just follow along the river yeah, follow yeah, along the river on the north south. side or the south side. Uh, I would say on the north side, especially if we knew, because they told us that there was military to expanding the on the south. Yeah, where's so we might as well avoid yeah, it. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, so we'll go along sense. the river, but on the north. But side. we have to cross the river. Already on it, Steve. To get to the north side. That's fine. Do we Maybe have the to first cross thing the we river? have to do is cross the river. Now, I I do remember we escaped at no, night, no, no, right? No, 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 no. The, 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 you don't have to worry about crossing the river because uh, Hod Gwen is on both north and south of the river, so you would oh, you'd be okay. able to pass through it while yeah, yeah yeah you'd be able to pass through it while you're inside of it. So you're good. What were you asking, Tyler? You asked a question. I'm sorry. You're muted now. Asking it. I, I don't remember asking a question. Oh okay. 
And the original suggestion was to go this way because of, like the trees and whatnot that are over here. Yeah. Um, and, and the fact that it's the quickest way to the border. But you guys definitely want to head east. Cool. All right. So as you're heading east, this should be a relatively easy thing for you to do to avoid other people as you're like trying to make your way through here as quickly and quietly as possible. Da -da -da -da. To avoid like the, the par you don't really care about avoiding everybody, just avoiding hot Gwen at the moment. We're gonna go ahead and roll me a um a survival check, but you do have advantage because you know this area very well. You've been through here many times, and your class your feature you haven't used in years. I hate to say that though, I still have an exhaustion level one. Um, this is a multi-day thing, no. so that would definitely be gone. No, because you okay. definitely rested in the prison and stuff too. Yeah, we're we're back up to max. Yeah, Rena, you're good. Because this isn't a one max. day thing. Scott, can I roll a stealth to make us stealthy? Uh, not really. Okay, that's what the survival's for. Is she that a great job. Trashy. Starting off hot. Starting off hot. It's okay. Take the L. She's married. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, just take the L. Um, okay, cool. So as you're making your way along, trying to be as uh, uh, quiet as possible, not get noticed, unfortunately, you are not able to avoid all for, uh, sorts of tracks. At some point in time, you end up coming across a uh, a bit of a caravan, which honestly would throw you off like, fuck, these people are going to see us until perception checks. <laughs> type Dale Jakes. <laughs> Oops. All right, uh -oh. it's all up to you, Yandis. <laughs> okay, here you go. Yeah. So, uh, fail, Scott? Rena notice, uh, notices uh, the caravan, as is Ophios once it's pointed out. Um, but uh, Yandis is the one that notices an important detail about it. So as Rena's kind of leading along, she's like, fuck, there's a caravan up ahead. Yandis is like, yeah, there is, but... And you actually see, the caravan doesn't just have people at it. Uh, honestly, Yandis is not young. I don't think Yondas has ever seen a goblin before, but he has heard them described. And he's pretty friggin' sure this these are, are goblins based off of the descriptions that he's heard before. Again, you have to remember in Aurorum, or at the very least on Eroth, this continent, goblins are exceedingly rare. They're not they're not very often seen. But more importantly, the goblins that are known about. They're non-verbal. They're very unintelligent creatures, right? Like they, they rock like a five intelligence, four intelligence. They're, 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 they're sometimes less than that. Uh, no, no, sorry. Usually less than that. They usually rock like a four or three intelligence. They're not smart creatures. They're barely uh, greater than animals. But here's a group of them seemingly at a caravan around a fire, like being civilized? Yeah, that's odd. Hmm. Um, now, of course, for a, the... I don't know if that gives us a right to go up and ask about it. I'm hungry. Eats goblin. <laughs> Has room for another. You got to remember. I think they taste good. Ophios is so much bigger now. Asteen. So he has to eat bigger things and eat more. <laughs> Luckily for you, there are um, wild animals in deer. deer. Yeah, there's, or, or honestly, plains cats. Right. I mean, they'd have to be big. I mean, like, you live in LA. Did you bring you know what cats I'm talking Cougar. about. Cougar. Yeah. Bob hey, cats. hey, baby, don't talk about my mom like that. All right, then that's Sorry about your bone. what I'd have to hunt. Now, um, uh, over here, it'd be probably things like, you know, um, a deer and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> deer on a deer. So, what do you guys do? I mean, a caravan likely has supplies. Do we need supplies? We don't, we don't have, have anything. <laughs> I don't know how much food Arena has. It's not like we were supplied anything. All right, we can take the story element. <laughs> I imagine Yondas actually says that. I mean, he's the most educated out of the three of them, so he would have actually read stories. Um, <clears throat> so um, uh, you guys, uh, he's like, fine. And you guys start walking towards it. How do you approach the caravan? 
Well, I'd like to discuss that first. Sure. <clears throat> how do you, do you want to be a giant snake or a half snake? How, how would you like to approach this? Obviously, I am quite an imposing presence as I appear. Goblins are stupid. And I don't think very many people would believe what they said anyway. So if you want to roll up as a snake, I don't think anyone's going to listen to him. Okay. So you want me to leave. So whatever form you're most comfortable with. All right. Ophius is going to be in snake form and slither over towards the caravan. Now, you slither over... Oh, I realize that you... Okay, so you slither over towards the caravan, as you had just said. Um, uh, but do you do so, like, uh, by yourself? Do you try to, like, sneak on them? Or are you doing so while the other two are approaching? That's why I was like, we should discuss this. And then Messi was like, or Yandis was like, uh, you can do whatever you want. Well, you I, know, like, okay. Matt, Matt I think if, right if it's yeah. just the two of us walking forward and Ophios behind us, it's simple. Okay. Okay, cool. That's perfectly fine. So um, the uh, group of you start start uh, walking forward. Uh, start, uh, the two of you start walking forward, or whatever, to get over there. And as you're making your way over, the... Um, uh, the goblins clearly are able to notice you eventually, right? It's not one of those I things mean, where. Do they? That's yeah. a terrible stealth roll. <laughs> they have disadvantage still, Scott. <laughs> so, um, uh, I don't think we're trying to be stealthy. Not uh, really. Uh, 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 always uh, is. Slash uh, R uh, 2D 20, keep lower one plus uh, three. Plus three. Yep, they could see me. Yeah. All right, so moving on. Um, uh, Rena, you guys are, are approaching, and as you do so, the goblins kind of like uh, eventually notice you. And as they notice you, they kind of like immediately jump into action, like quickly jump into action. You see them kind of like bustling about, bustling about, whatnot, and they start, uh, some of them quickly making their way over towards you. And as they start rushing up towards you, there's that moment, of course, where you like start to get tense, like, fuck. You know, you get the axe kind of prepared, though you don't have your great axe with you at the moment. Uh, you get your, your weapon or whatever prepared. Messi, of course, start reaching into his mind, getting his uh, daggers prepared because, you know, his mind is starting to become more and more open to him or completely open to him at the point. Uh, and even Ophios is thinking, well, at least I found food um, uh, and so on. But then all of a sudden, as the goblins are, are coming towards you, there's a quick moment where you're blinded by a very bright light as one of the goblins <laughs> does this huge breath of fire. And you see that what happened was they literally sparked up like a, like a sun rod, which is almost like a burning um, uh, flare. And they breathed, like almost spit uh, like alcohol through it to flare up a huge fire. Another one comes up next to them and does the same thing. And sets a huge flame of fire. And a third one comes up. And as he walks up, you can see that he's holding something. I know you guys have dark vision, so you see he's holding like these circular objects, whatever they are. And you guys are standing there like, what the hell is going on? And both of the goblins, one to either side, take another moment where they put something in their mouth and they both breathe at the same time as it holds out these big circular things. And it makes these big flaming like hula hoops. And the goblin in the middle starts throwing these flaming hula hoops up in the air and juggling them. And so you literally see a goblin I standing figured. before you juggling hula hoops about the height of it uh, in the air. And you're like, what the hell am I watching? Do you say anything before they speak, Can, or? Yeah, Scott, I'd like them to roll a performance check. I'll allow Vikings to roll the performance check. Don't worry, Viking. You get a solid modifier. Plus seven. We'll wait. Viking does seem to care about the goblins, so I know. makes sense that Viking rules for them. We're going to wait for Viking. That's right. I don't care what time it is. Everything's on pause for you, Viking. We're waiting for you, Viking. Whenever you're ready, Viking. There we go. Oh, Jesus, Viking. A three. It's, it's a not ten. very impressive. Probably because you caught them off guard. Or because it's just juggling of oh. flaming hula hoops, more or less. Giant flaming rings. But it's not very impressive. Well, that's 
That's quite the entrance. Um, after y you say that, Giannis, and... your robe's on fire. And they, they, they juggle oh, for a couple fine. of I moments. Don't eat food. I One don't of the eat goblins. Food. <laughs> <laughs> your robe's he... on fire. It's okay. I don't eat. No, his response is, "That's okay. He's not built like that." I'm built the same as everyone else. Go ahead, yeah. Scott. No go. interruptions. I was trying to make an excuse for their performance check and the, that they accidentally lit Yondas on fire. <laughs> so that would make the performance better. The um uh the, after they juggle it for a little bit, eventually the goblin with two rings in one hand and one ring in the other one kind of like holds them out and does like a bow and they're still flaming. But then like as they bowing and all three of them are kind of like bowing down. Uh, the one in the middle that's holding the flaming ring out, it's a little bit too close to one of the other goblins. And it kind of gets really hot and like, ah! and they, they kind of like jump to the side ah! uh, to, to, to get like the, the, the little bit of a burn on there or ash or whatever. Like, as you can imagine, a little bit of like facial hair gets singed or whatever from it off as they're like, ah! and then the, the one in the middle uh, looks over and he's like, sorry. Um, and then looks up at you guys and speaks in Perrin, but you know, not very good Perrin. I can't really do a voice, as previously stated. Being at work already did fucked up my voice. Did they speak in Glenn first? Because I understand Glenn. They actually did speak in Glenn at first. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, and again, these are nonverbal, very dumb creatures, to be clear. So anyways, the um, uh, the goblin looks up at, uh, uh, at you guys and says, um, Welcome, welcome to the Royal Goblin Caravan. So there's a goblin king and queen. Oh, snake says one of the uh uh the, the side one that got his face singed, <laughs> like jumps and sees like a giant snake, and the others kind of like look at him like like so, and he's like big, big snake, big big snake, and they both look over, and then when they actually see Ophios, who maybe head up or moving through the grass or whatever he's doing, which I was gonna invisible. say, he yawns. <laughs> Um, uh, you, you'll see that both of those ones take a couple of steps back as well. And one of them points at it and says, does it bite? And in yes. Glenn Ophios will, Ophios will say, only if you piss me off. The goblin that originally saw you and was scared and like jumped back and like freaked out goes, it talks cute. And like immediately starts like scurrying over. Like he's going to start petting the snake. I did speak their native tongue, so. Yeah, you heard him speaking. They're like, blah, 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 blah. by the way, Glynn is a so bastardized had, had version. Glynn is a bastardized version of Mull. You know what I mean? It's like a, it, it, it's like a, a bad version of Mull. By the way, you guys have never heard Ophia speak that language before. Once. Have you? Mm-hmm. We were in, um, um, what is, oh, it was, was it? the brewery. Okay. Yeah. 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 I spoke Glenn to, uh, Hansa. Hansa. That's right. That's right. You'd have heard him speak, speak this language before then. Just been a long time. Rena's like, don't you question my memory. I got to keep the DM on point. Stay in line. I have mental notes. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I can't remember his name though right now, even though I love that character. Hansa? No, no, no. Oh, no. Rock Boy. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What does his name? Um, Rhett Rock. Um, Rhett Rock. Uh, Starts with a K. Glug Mug. Rhett Rock Glug Mug. No. Oh, not that one. Kithel. No. Kithel. Oh, Kithel. I love Kithel. You're referring to Kithel. Yes. I can't do his voice right now, but for Doxy's stream, I did set up this uh, voice modulator to make things a little bit easier. It's not as aggressive as what I usually do with Kithel, but you know. Kithel, because it's his brewery. Yeah. It's like the Emerald Rose or something. Continuing. You're close, yeah, I think. So the, the, the scurry's over to go and pet Ophios. Cool. I, Ophios just watches him. <laughs> He comes over and, and, and he looks down at you. There's like a moment of pause, and then goes to pet you. He doesn't get burned. Nice. <laughs> He's not angry. So 
Uh, he, he starts petting the snake and he goes, I like it. It's a really big snake. Thanks. <laughs> Ophios so just hard. looks over at Yandis and Rena like, what do I, what do I do? Like that look of like confusion and not anything else. So, so as you guys um, are giving that, okay, go ahead. I was gonna say, I said the you, other one will start talking. You two travel. Oh, sorry, you three travel a lot. The one in the middle that is holding the flaming rings is now putting the flaming rings, like throws them down into the grass, and starts like tapping them out with their foot to get the uh, the fire out. But you know, it's grass. It's like plains, and they just threw fire on the the grass. And starts trying to put it out with his foot. Um, starts responding it. to you, and says, "Oh no, not not just the three of us. The whole royal caravan. We have been selected to be the ones to travel the caravan this time." What an honor! Oh, it is. What does that it mean, is. though? It it means that that we have been selected by the god of the mountain. <laughs> Travel on the caravan. Oh, the god of the mountain. You heard of him? Does it have a name? The god of the mountain. No. <laughs> and like another name. Maybe one I've heard of. Where's kind of like look god amongst themselves. The um, looks at, looks at you to answer your question because you're a little bit perplexed beforehand. Uh, looks to you and says, um, "West." Cool. What this brings mountain? you Definitely here? Not going back that way. This mountain? Well, I'm trying to see where you're pointing. <clears throat> uh, maybe, but you know, you can't exactly from way over here. You can't exactly be like that one on this. Uh, uh, oh, I'm, map I'm on just asking 20. for my knowledge. You have no idea. That is a mountain to the west, though. We wouldn't. Yeah. We have crossed over there. We've definitely many times. Yeah. Yep. Got attacked by uh, jibbling mothers Isn't there. Isn't that where? Isn't there a fort there? Sun's Rest is that fort. Right here. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> so anyways, continuing on. Sun's Rest is They there. say, what brings you this way? Are you looking for supplies? Are you looking to buy? Are you looking to be dazzled and amazed? One what of the side ones there? goes, we're working on showmanship. We were told that if we uh, are able to make our our, our caravan a little bit more showy. People will stop trying to kill us and maybe buy some more stuff. People yeah, trying to kill you. What do you got? Um, uh, When you guys look like you're interested in buying, gestures and says, this way. And starts um uh, uh walking off. And as they start walking away, the one that's pet in Ophios goes, oh. Is he upset that we're walking over to buy stuff? That you're like walking away and they're gonna like if he goes is that gonna keep petting you? I mean I'm still going the same direction. I'm very confused. They're not very smart. It's just Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because Tyler's not not Tyler. Ophio's not much smarter without his crown. Uh so anyways, the um uh, you imagine you start slithering that way as it's walking alongside you. It looks down at Ophios and mutters to himself under his breath, which Ophios hears. I bet I could ride it. And he's like looking at Ophios like, <laughs> don't. <laughs> imagine it's like, don't. <laughs> he doesn't, oh. Ophios wouldn't even look at him. He would just say it. <laughs> Um, oh, and then occasionally, like, as he's walking, will bend down to allow, like, and stop to allow, like, you to slither past, allowing his hand to caress. So that's like more pets. Anyways, so you're able to make your way over to, um, uh, you're able to make your way over to the, uh, um, uh, where the caravan is. Where there you can see there's easily another two dozen more goblins inside the, uh, um, the area that are kind of like hanging inside the caravan, like the wagons themselves, or are over by the fire looking out at you guys. 
Uh, a couple of them have like crossbows at the ready, like they're prepared to defend themselves. But honestly, those crossbows are so small, while it would hurt, you've certainly suffered worse. Like, it's like, oh, well, that would suck, but like, I've had bigger boo boos, you know? Um, the same I, way a splinter sucks. Yeah. Not quite that small, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, by the way, the. Um, uh, the, the, as you guys go approaching, they'll look rather excited. And as you are approaching and they realize this isn't like some sort of hostage situation, you can see they start busting out supplies and goods and literally opening up the wagon and the caravan whatnot itself to start showing you the various things that they have sold. Like they were definitely closed up for business, but they're definitely opening up business for you guys to show what it is that they have to offer. And they have all sorts of exciting things too. Uh, just like quickly looking about in the area, you can see they have many different types of like say cloaks and uh, different types of outfits and, and whatnot for sale. They have all sorts of bits and bobs and jewelry and trinkets and uh, fetishes and, and stuff like that that you can get your hands on. Uh, you can see that they have uh, uh, even um, a few different types of armor, a few weapons for sale. They also have exotic animals that they have for sale. Uh, that are there, which is pretty exciting. They have like, you know, caged exotic birds. They even have uh, one of the wagons itself actually has a decent sized cage inside of it. And there's a, um, I don't know if any of your characters would know what it is, but it's a big uh, two-legged bird that doesn't really seem to have wings as far as you can tell. Uh, a long neck uh, and a vicious looking beak. Uh, this thing is tall, like like very tall, very muscular looking. Does not look very kind. And it's inside of a cage that's there. I rolled a nature check. I know what it is. I rolled a history check. Uh, your nature check, uh, Ophios, would suggest to you that this is a... Um, Comatory. Um, uh, lay term for it would be Axe Peak. Ostrich. I feel like you told us think, about these. Th think like a scary ostrich, like a cassowary, but bigger. So if we let Is it this? out, it would oh. be aggressive. Potentially. Hmm. I think I know where I've heard of these. Oh, Yondas does know what they are. They're actually the, um, the, what are they called? You can tell that I'm tired when I can't think of the names of the things in my own world. Um, the Karak, um, which is the culture of the Barrenlands. Uh, the Karak ride these things as mounts. Hmm. Are they big, like, for normal-sized, like, people, or for small-sized people? Uh, Karak are medium-sized, technically, but they're not very, sh they're not okay. very tall. They, they usually, like, the bigger warriors hmm. are gonna be, like, the low to mid five-foot range. They're not very tall. I mean, there is the, the, it's, the Karak, I should say, that's that's not true. The orcs are about that tall. Karak is a culture, not a race. Uh, the half orcs that are over there, they get much bigger. They don't just, they just don't tend to live as long because like the bigger you are, the more calories it takes to survive. And there's not a lot of that to go around. So you make good meat. So you acquired this one from the Barren Lands, huh? Um, uh, one of them nods and says, um, yes, uh, uh, I did, but, um, it doesn't really work. So we're going to go try to trade it for something else. What do you mean? It doesn't work. Um, one of them kind of like, uh, looks, uh, their head kind of drops down and they look a little bit sad. And another one says, <laughs> eh, we couldn't ride it. Another one goes over and starts petting the one whose head dropped down. Uh, petting them on the shoulder, like uh, almost like consoling them. It's so funny. I don't think I could <clears throat> ride it either. Um, the one that was walking with you, Tyler, says, "But can I ride you?" Don't ask. Again. I can't help myself. It's so funny. For your own sake, don't Sorry. ask again. Yeah, one of them says. Yeah, do you want what happens to you? Do you want what happened to his brother and other brother and father and wife? <laughs> and one of the yeah, other ones God, goes so tragic. <laughs> one of the other ones goes, um uh goes, Commodore so ain't good funny. that day. A couple of Snickers. God, that's so funny. Uh. <clears throat> the Commodore it killed some of What? <laughs> 
killed this guy's whole family more or less. It. He tried to write it and killed his whole family. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Oh my god. Whew. <laughs> oh my god. So they put it in a cage, huh? Hmm. It's one of those things like, touch me again and I'll kill your whole family. It's like, oh, climb on. Actually, <laughs> actually, I just want to... What would I roll to keep... What would Yandis roll here to keep himself from laughing at this That's a well terribly bad. tragic story? A charisma check or a, or a wisdom check? Your choice. Wisdom check? Yeah. That's, yeah. You, you, it's say. a bluff in other sy uh, systems for um, composure, but... Decep deception? Sure. I don't give a fuck. You roll okay, whatever you want. For... You have a massive advantage. All right, deception. Deception. That's, that's okay. I'm a Terry whack a mole. <laughs> maybe, maybe he'd like smut like a smirk for a second and then put it away. Be like, mm, that's tragic. <clears throat> Makes you stronger. So, though. um, you can't. Did you capture it? your? My God, snake! Did you capture it yourself? Um, the one they were speaking to originally said, shakes his head and says, "No, trade it for it." Hmm. Would you trade for it? So, wait, um, hold on, hold on. Right. So, so you traded something of equal value to someone who gave you this creature that then murdered your entire family because you tried to write it. Nod solemnly. That's so sad. <clears throat> I'm crying. <laughs> uh, I'm a bad person. So, um, as you guys are over here having to try to have this conversation, eventually another goblin comes walking over. It's dressed a bit better than the others, composed a bit better than the others, um, stands a bit taller, not actually in height, just the way that they kind of like present themselves, uh, so on and so forth. So it's making their way over and uh, uh, looks about the group of you and says, um, <clears throat> welcome. Welcome to the Royal Goblin Caravan. Now, um, uh, it seems as though you've come to purchase some things. Uh, or is that true? If you come to buy. Definitely come to browse first, but uh, yeah, we're interested. Do you have food for this one? Um, uh, looks uh, uh, her over and says, yes, we have things that you would eat and things you should try. I'm quite hungry. Nods and says, you're welcome to what's in the pots over there or you can buy supplies yourself. I should introduce myself. My name is Malik. I have been chosen to be the, uh, one of the caravan's masters. I am, uh, honored to meet the group of you and hope to make transactions. So, He's also a goblin? Mm-hmm. Okay. Were you chosen by the mountain god? The god of the mountain, yes. Of course. Sorry, I said it backwards. Tell me, I'm, um, you seem to be the one in charge, is that correct? One of, yes. How is it that... Um, no offense, but I, I hadn't heard of a goblin being so proficient in parrot before. How is it that that's the case for you? The god of the mountain has given us speech. God of the mountain has given us minds. It's a good god. Mm. Now, Messi, your character happens to know what an abstergo is. And Abstergo, the different um, uh, layers of experimentation that happened with the uh, um, uh, uh, the mole over the years to eventually. They also had other versions of, uh, of, uh, of experiments too. The goblins were often used as their baseline, almost like your control for doing other um, uh, genetic manipulations because of how quickly they breed. They, they pop out many babies very quickly. They grow up very rapidly. Like die very, so Exactly. Like ra exactly. Exactly like that. So... You know that that's one of the reasons why the goblins are so stupid. They were bred to be stupid and to, but, but there are the occasional goblins that would come out genetically different because they're so genetically, uh, um, uh, kind of like all over the map. 
So this just happened. Were you, or a god has elevated them, you know? Were, were you blessed with your intelligence um, recently? Or is it something from your lineage? Generations and generations. We have served the god of the mountain. I gotcha. can speak of my perspective, but I would like to defer such questions to Zraz, the other mountain, the, the other master of the caravan, and also the high priest to the god of the mountain. Zraz can tell you all of the wonders that the god of the mountain has to offer. I just see Resting currently, or can I meet him? Zraz is. Um. Uh, just, Feel free to speak. Somebody, s s s somebody kind of chimes in and says, Drunk! Uh, Point me in his perhaps direction. another time, then. <laughs> Nods and says, He'll be cranky in the morning, but what goblin isn't? I'll kind of like chitter laugh her. Sorry. I hate these guys. <clears throat> he says, So where are you headed? currently oh we have a very far travel to the east um as was said we wish to return this commentary to that who traded it to us we believe we received a broken one. Oh no let me correct that uh, we've received one that needs to still be broken and so we wish to trade it to get one that is already broken that would be in deadport Uh, Deadport right. is in the Barrenlands. And we potentially right. will... He says, and perhaps we will travel past Barrenlands a little bit further too. But we don't know if if it's worth it traveling through Barrenlands. Have, have you ever traveled to the Dalelands before? Dalelands. Shakes his head. No. I have not. Looks about the group of them. Everybody else is shaking their head. Are the barren lands east, Yondas? Yes. So that's the direction we want to go, correct, Arena? To this city. Well, eventually. Eventually. <clears throat> their knowledge of the barren lands helps us navigate that perhaps there's potential we travel with this group as much as it pains me to have this one constantly ask to ride me it wouldn't benefit us to travel by caravan to where we were going malik actually overhearing your conversation uh, says um first and foremost walks over to the one that um was asking to ride you and with like his um the the like knuckles um um, you know, these kind of like two digit knuckles uh, of uh, of one of his hands reaches over and grabs that one by the nose and like pulls him really close and says you will not insult our guests and then hits the side of his hand which maybe broke the goblin's nose who lets out a howl of pain as blood starts coming down their face and they kind of like you know they take several steps back and are holding their nose and trying to grab like fabric or whatever to cover up or whatever he says and second yes Yes, yes, yes. I would very much like for you to travel with us. We will give you discount on all purchases. And in exchange, you will convince others not to kill us. Word of advice. Ophios will kind of stand a little more upright in his snake form. Don't injure your brave ones. Difference between brave and stupid. <clears throat> well, as much as we appreciate the gesture, we um, unfortunately have another stop to make first. And we were planning on traveling by boat to get to the Daylands. Um, uh, he asks, where are you stopping? And we take boat as well. We don't travel through barren lands. That would be death, with more death. Um, we're actually headed to the capital. Yandis. You say the capital? He says, Hard Gwent? That's not the right way. (laughs) 
Sorry, Ophios, did I speak out of turn? No, I was going to say, well, they have cages for animals. Oh. Perhaps a large snake would be able to pass by <sighs> easier. I see. How much for the axe beak? Um, looks at you and says, Axe beak are not cheap to buy. Okay. How much for it in the cage? Um, he says, I can tell you how much the, um, we paid for that axe beak while it was, um, uh, a bit younger. Uh, we bought it for, and he, uh, calls out like, Of course, Ophius knows what he's saying. <laughs> uh, and uh, a goblin comes running over, carrying a big-ass book. Because, you know, they bought a medium-sized person's book. And they use it as a ledger. So it's like this big-ass book in his hands. And uh, he opens it up, and another goblin comes over and helps hold it open for him. While they flip through the pages. And he says, Ah! We bought this Kamatori for 1,815 golden coins equivalents in many different trade goods. They don't like much coin in the dead port. Yeah, but you thought you were buying a trained one, right? Well, yes, but not trained. Right. So, um... Ophios, you said you were hungry, right? Are you asking me to eat this creature? I'm saying we could buy it and you could eat it and then we could use its cage. Yes. I was saying that if we traveled with them and they were able to trade that or had another cage, it would allow me to pass by a lot more easily than... We do have another cage. Yeah, do you have another cage that big? Oh, okay. Uh, nods. And then looks at Ophios and says... Maybe. I wonder if you could eat that. And then looks at it and looks back at you. Looks at it and looks back at you and says, that would make a great show. He'll do it for free. <laughs> he, he looks at you and says, I'm not making joke. Deadport? A show. World's biggest snake. Eats Kamatori. Ooh, legend snake. Ophios, this sounds like a great idea to me. I don't know how you feel, but um, if I'm eating, the only I'm... problem is we are traveling to Osto first. Osto? Yeah, the capital of Paradel. Oh, never been there. Um, usually when gets close to uh Perrin cities, um, they attack. Drugs. They don't like goblins. They don't like a lot of things. Would you, would you like to go with us? You, you make them not kill? You travel with. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we could promise that. We're, um... Uh, I don't want to get these the last goblins few times killed, we went to Hosto, man. Um... <laughs> I think the last time we went to Osto, we did in, uh, have some legal issues. So perhaps, um, perhaps not. What is legal issues? They, were they tried to in jail. kill us. Oh, I was just assuming by what has happened in many times past that you just well, that's, ended up in that jail. Too, that too. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, whole that, time that we thought we thought that um, the attack us because we goblins. Maybe they just attack everyone, not goblins. That's it. No go to Osto. We all nice and safe and stick to Outlands. I believe our friend here has unfinished business in Osto. We have to go to Osto, but perhaps we can meet you somewhere by the Dale Lands. We have no problem going to Osto. But won't you get attacked? Aren't you afraid of die? 
<laughs> Ovios actually laughs. <laughs> like, in snake form, just full laughter. <laughs> yeah, but all the goblins get scared, and I'm like, no, he he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he's not vomiting up yesterday's lunch, I promise. Like a cat. Of, I could use some I food. I fucking right love now. when they do that. And by love, I mean despise. <laughs> I could use some food right now, Yandas. Marina, you guys eat here. I'll go find something. If we're <laughs> agreed that perhaps it's best that we meet up with them and my caged life be adequate for our needs <clears throat> so if if he gives you a show in whatever port then um you'll let him use your cage and travel in the wagon i mean if you just travel with us you can use the cage we'd even feed her he says pointing at rena no, I would actually probably say, would even feed him. This is pointing at Rena. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, Sorry. quick out of out of chat, out of chat, out of character, out of character discussion, real quick. Do you guys want to travel with the fucking goblins? Or do you no. want to shut down whatever this no. is that's coming? No, shut it right down, now? bro. <laughs> I'm not opposed really? to it. Okay. It literally is a great cover for Ophios. <laughs> I, I mean, we can know? use that at some point, but like for right now. Right now, we're we just need gonna to go to like Austria. camp with them. Time. We're not I think we're just travel. gonna camp. Well, they're, they're saying they'll go with us. They'll, they're saying they'll go with us. I don't, Austria? Austria? I don't know. They're, mer they're merchants. Wanna... They're yeah. looking to sell shit and buy shit. Oh. Well, they're gonna probably die, so. <laughs> <laughs> not if we're there. Uh huh. Okay. We'll kill everyone else first. Oh, sure. So he says, So, matter of business. You looking to buy stuff? And if we travel with you, we get a discount. Well, not right now. You said that. Right now, you just make promise. You must make good first. Mm. Well, for now, I just want to eat. Well, I'll do that for free. And he says, whatever's in the pot is all yours. I want to take a look um, at whatever they got in the pot. You go over to the pot. You go over, you look in the Can pot. you tell me and, what's in the pot? And it's one of those things where like, you've never seen green stew before. And you're Washing. not sure Washing. what's floating inside of it. It smells oh, ch not broccoli. bad, just very pungent, very pungent. Like you know, you know, you like the smell of like garlic and onions, but then there's like fucking garlic and onions, like like way too much. Yeah, but except it's not garlic and onions; it's something else. You, you can't quite put your nose on it, but it's all over your nose. Pea soup, as in they've peed in the soup. <laughs> Ew. Either way, so whatever's inside that pot, you're not entirely sure what it is. But on the flip side, you definitely see fresh bread nearby. And Ooh. the person that they must be referring to as Zaz, is that what I said his name was? Oh, I'm sorry. The person that they referred to as Roz. The drunk one? Yeah. Um, uh, not only are they passed out on a log, <laughs> full on drooling with their tongue hanging out, um, uh, they have several bottles next to them, Roz? empty and full. I'll grab one of the bottles and some bread. Around? There you go. Hmm. Hmm. I oh, go right guess now. that means yeah. we'll stay the night. Mm -hmm. I love that sound. Oh, that sounds like... Oh. Well, we have our own like tents or whatever, so I'd probably like set that up after I eat or something. Um. Uh, so you grab some bread and you do that. And one mm -hmm. of the goblins will actually say, You're no try soup? Can you tell me what's in it? He nods. He says, do you like food from from water? Fish. Uh, what word? Means. Oh, what crab? word? Uh, crab. Clams? No. Lobster. The long one with tail. Lost, that. Lobster. Yeah, you go. It has the, fish. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 Crawfish. so, so we get Small. those. We get those, and we 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 cut up, and we get the inside that's all goopy and such bright, pretty color, 
and we put that in there, and we we give the rest to the dogs. The dogs eat the the and 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 we get lots of that, and we put it in there. Oh, so good! And we caught the lobsters. We caught we caught um uh what word for a little thing? Um, looks like looks like a a puppy, but with spikes everywhere. And if you spook it, boom! It goes. And it and it, the spikes come. Ah, uh, kill it with spear. Hedgehogs. Porcupine. And, and 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 you scoop out the inside and you put that in there too. Pufferfish. Oh, so good. So those mm. are those are poisonous. Mm. Not puffer yeah, no, fish. he said looks like a puppy. So it's hedgehog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, a pufferfish kind of looks like a puppy to a goblin. <laughs> so you know so what? Good. Fuck it. I'm gonna try the soup. Don't right. try the soup. Don't try the soup. <laughs> Why not? Don't drink they that soup. They literally just put its innards in out? there. They didn't clean it out. They just threw they the innards the in there. probably eaten worse. It's cooked. It's cooked. Before. Yeah, at least it's cooked. It's, it's, it's still cooked say. shit. Fuck. It's still cooked <laughs> shit, Rena. <laughs> just because you boil feces doesn't mean it's edible. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Remember, Rena, you have your armor and everything on, so. Didn't matter. So I Rena got the strongest stomach, bro. Uh, honestly, really hungry. Uh, honestly, it's one of those things where the flavor throws you off at first, but by the end of it, you're like, the texture is really weird. It's almost like, do you like wasabi? Yeah. You know wasabi when it's not real wasabi, when it's like the the fake Horse wasabi fresh. has almost like a almost like a powdery texture to it, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so it almost as this like like powdery texture to the soup, like as you're eating the soup, it has this like thickness like chunkiness to it there's like powdery texture to it and some of the stuff that you're biting onto which by the way there's totally vegetables in there um like um cloves and stuff oh but there's greens you know, there's some iron uh anyways uh there's stuff like that that's inside there but the the meat that's in there is either very very supple and soft and easy or like really chewy chewy but that's because it's made from like the intestines of multiple creatures Mm -hmm. As like made from like all the inner parts, not just like the meat, which is she's, actually she's not gonna think about it too hard. It's really nutritious. Like this is like the the like the the organ tissue is like where the most nutrients are. So it's actually extremely nutritious. Um, but again, the texture is like again when you're done eating it and you have that like bowl left over and you're like, I might as well like drink it down and you like go and you just kind of like squint your eyes as you drink it, trying not to think think of the. Again, that texture, like pasty like texture. After it's done and you're like, Whoa. you drink some water or alcohol, whatever it is, and you just feel this like film on your teeth, this like this, like grittiness on your teeth that no matter how much bread or booze you have afterwards, even the next morning when you wake up, you feel like there's still a film on your teeth. Like, Thanks for that extra detail. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Rita's sitting there like, I forgot to brush my teeth after I got home from work and I worked all day. That's how I feel right now. Thanks for bringing it in game. Did I find food in my survival? I don't today. Check? My teeth are very clean. I love brushing my teeth. It's one of my favorite things. It's like orgasmic. You're like, oh, that's right. Get the gums. Oh. Anyway, she's like, okay, good soup. And uh, has like a shitload of bread and just hoards a bottle of alcohol for herself. Anyway, oh. she's chilling. She's chilling by like a fire, or maybe makes a separate fire because the goblins are loud and she's in pain. So, the goblins like, will show you a, a fun game that they have. They take uh, some of the bread that they have, which is like you know like a nice crusty like a kind of bread, and they they put soup you inside mean like a baguette, like a baguette or a sourdough or something like that. Yeah, oh, um, and and they they, they put um uh, soup inside one of the uh, like smaller like rolls of bread that's getting kind of like crusty, and then the other one. They actually capture things like worms and bugs, and they put it inside there. And then another goblin has to guess which is the right one. So they blindfold them, and everybody stands around and like laughs and like snickers and stuff like that. Oh my god! And they have to guess which is the right one. And when they finally guess the right one, they have to take it and just like full on like ah. And there's like wagers that go on back and forth. And this is where things get interesting. As you're drinking, Rena, and eating with them, and full on like absorbed into what they're doing, as Messi's off to the side like. I don't eat. I'm just going to hang over here and like meditate. And uh, Ophios went off to go hunt like something that's big and a fresh kill, like something he, he actually needs to roll like a survival check to feed himself because he needs more food than what they can just easily offer. Um, one of the things that you notice, Rena, is as they're placing wagers with each other, they're placing wagers 
with gold coins. And it's like not small wagers. Like these goblins are, are wagering like one of them actually the biggest per the bet that you see. One of them full on is betting 19 golden coins for, for, for the bet. And they lose it and they're not angry. They're laughing like like if you were playing cards with your friends and at the end of the day you lost like, you know, 20 bucks. You wouldn't really care, right? If you played mm -hmm. cards for a couple of hours, lost 20, you wouldn't care. I mean, like, they're just laughing about it. So they have a lot of gold. Well, they're merchants. Not all merchants have a lot of gold. <laughs> she would enjoy that. She just enjoyed watching them. It's kind of wholesome. I like that. Would you place a wager? No. Come on, one wager. No. Come on. I'm not going to cheat these goblins out of their gold, man. Come on. I have, I have gold. Who's, I'm, yeah, but you have to bet gold? your gold. I mean, I could just Would for fun. Would you join in on the fun? Come it's on. Shits and giggles, Would Rena join in on the fun? That's the question. Uh, probably. All right. I mean, she's been drinking. Like she has some fun. Yeah, one, like gold? one bet. No, not one uh, okay. gold. One bet. Like one bet. All right. Okay, so, um, so so if you want to get in on it, they go, okay, and they start making you your bread. Oh, no, I don't oh, want to no, no, play. No, no. I don't want to bet. Betting. That's all. I, I'm just getting in on the betting. That's so all. So as, as you're like, no, 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 not me. Like, you can see the group of them around and cheering like, you, 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 you. No. One of them stands up on a rock and says, hey, turn, and like points at you and like, you, 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 you. You as they're all like oh, really excited. Thanks, Tyler. I I asked uh, character wise if your character would join. She in. would want to bet, not not actually play. Do you, Rena? God damn it! Well, now she's put on the spot. Okay, so Rena, you're gonna have to go ahead and take the bread blindfolded cool. that mm -hmm. they put out before you. Oh, by the way, how much do you bet that you uh get the right one? Mm, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to have to roll for this. Oh, I'm blindfolded, so it'd be like perception, perception. at disadvantage. Yeah. Yep, yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah, kudos. Yeah. Um, And then uh, and, and then it's a luck die after that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, how lucky do I think I am? <sighs> well, luck die is D100, to be clear. I'll just do like, like 50? Okay. All right, fine. I have that on me. Oh, you put down a big bet that you're going to get it right or wrong? Obviously, you bet. That Obviously, that I'm going to get it right. Yeah. All right. It should be 50 gold pieces. Yeah. So you put down 50 gold. And since you put down 50 gold, um, uh, they match your uh, your. Mm -hmm. uh, so more or less, if you get it right, um, you, depending on how many are betting into it, you can get back. You have to be able to get other people have to wager into it at least as much as you wagered. You know what I mean? That's kind of how it yeah. has to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once that ante is put up. Then they can start wagering back and forth to to set the pool in ways where they can also profit if they get it, you know, kind of like it, it goes above that. Um, your character is not the um, most smartest, you know, person in the world. And there's a lot of coin being kind of like thrown around very quickly. So it's and there's a lot of goblins involved in this. So it's really hard to keep track. But the pot definitely goes well over 100 gold pieces, e easily mm -hmm. over 100 gold pieces. So you, they put the blindfold on you and they start prepping it up. And you hear all sorts of like, <laughs> and they start speaking in their God. language. Which you don't understand. So it's like, God damn it, Ophios isn't around. <laughs> it's like chittering, and it's 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 again, it's almost like haunting feeling because you feel like because like the, the, these noises they're making and they're laughing and and they're She's hooting really and hollering hoping her, and you hear her clanging of glass as they're drinking. Up. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's one of those things too, right? Right as you put the blindfold on, you saw one of them walking over with a nice long night crawler, like like this big. Like <gasps> don't no 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 don't you don't need to describe it. Oh don't, boy, awesome! Don't just so, don't do it. <laughs> don't so anyways, bother. You uh, they go over, they start stuffing it up. You have the blindfold, and finally, uh, everybody gets really really quiet as you hear the wooden plate get pushed in front of you. <laughs> don't worry, it's a charcuterie plate. Oh, you're welcome. I wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> oh, you is. saw it in the past. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. yeah. All right. So what do I do? Pick both of them up and then decide which one. Um, you do your perception. There might be a reason for that, you, Viking. How do you search it? How do you sniff it? All this stuff. So you pick it up and you roll a perception with disadvantage as you're smelling both of them, trying to get an idea. 
she's also listening too because if there are things moving inside of one it's going to make a sound well they pack it tight so um okay disadvantage and there's right, lots of chittering so as they put it over and you're zipping up again they get loud as you're trying to figure out what it is so you wouldn't really be able to hear hear anything and they pack it so it's like a boiled egg versus a regular egg you ever try to find out which one's boiled and which one's not it's like impossible it's very difficult yeah mm. She rolled a natty. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, let's go. That's pretty solid. I, I thought you got a natty twenty. Uh, you did roll a natty twenty. Wait, why did it roll twice? She rolled a disadvantage. No, oh, but it I don't know why. I don't. Twice. Know. Oh, yeah. we ignore. Oh, you got a seventeen, not a twenty-one. All right, well, oh, I could block you that. did roll a natty twenty. That's funny, but it only showed the first one as how quickly it. Yeah. If we even have luck, anyway. Oh, oh it's a twenty-one oh. still. Back to a twenty-one. That's funny. Okay, that is a really good result. Not like, oh my God, crazy, but like you instantly get it, but it is a pretty good result. The odds are in your favor that you get the right one. And I mean very much in your favor for this one. Uh, Rena, there is an 80% chance you choose the right, sorry, 85% chance you choose the right one. Tyler, can you choose uh, a group of 10 numbers on a D100 that, um, that, that, that would be the wrong answer? One. To, to, one to ten? I mean, if it's, it would be 15. One to ten, and then oh, 95 and the other. above. Oh, he's got oh, a message okay. he's got a five. Yeah, one yeah. to ten, yeah. Okay, then message okay. pick here, five. Uh, wait, how many do I get? Sorry. Choose five. a group of five numbers. He picked one to ten. Uh, okay, I'll make it interesting. I'll pick 11. <laughs> Well, you can't so pick one to ten. That's ten numbers. Yeah, ten numbers are the way he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's good. And hey, Messi, what are you doing? Take it eleven to fifteen. Rena, who is your champion in chat? <laughs> Cell. Cell, D one hundred, baby. It's all on you. Get Roll ready for high. that crossover. <laughs> Roll very low. Roll high. Roll high, Cell. Yeah! Let's go! Okay. Can we get uh, a new roll? Uh, yeah, I was like, can we, can we re-roll this? Man. No. How, how, could, how could nobody drop a community curse here? That was the moment to drop a curse. Oh, don't Where worry. is Rosin? Don't, hey, don't Rosin, worry, Scott. Rosin, don't I worry, am disappointed Scott. in you as Rosin's a person. the reason we're in this mess, right? Rosin, I am disappointed in you for not dropping a curse right then. <clears throat> we're going to get it. Don't worry. All right. So anyways, you go over and you take this thing and you go to take your first bite a little bit gingerly and you hear ah! as all of them are, are like freaking out and they start like chittering at you in their language that you don't understand. But then one of them starts like screaming even loud as like hurting their throat as loud as I can to try to make sure you can hear them. You eat that good. You eat that good. To make sure that you actually like bury your face into it like the others do. And you're like, oh boy. See, Steve, we, we needed... We needed a New Zealander. <laughs> nope. That's what we needed. Cell, Anyways, cell came through. Um, you uh, you kind of like take drop back, and you bury your face into it as hard as you can, and you bite deep, and oh, thank God, it's, it's no. that awful taste. Was that interesting <sighs> tasting soup that comes gooping and oozing into your mouth as you first bite in the juices slide in, you instantly gag, but then you you taste the soup, and you're like, oh, thank God. How much um, gold did I win? And we hear like like cheers, but also like sadness and whatnot. It's kind of like it's just very, very, very so loud, even because you're a stranger and you're doing this with them, which is exciting. Anytime like a stranger goes into a close knit group and they do something that's of their like group, people get genuinely excited. Like this is fucking oh, yeah. awesome. It's, like they they join in on their culture or traditions. It's something they're very excited to share. Ophios was right up behind a fucking sexy looking doe you know what i mean he was about to just like do that like lunge and snap and like wrap his whole body around oh, it no. and crush it and swallow <laughs> but then all of a sudden from the distance you hear much like as if you heard like a party from your neighbor three blocks over <gasps> and the doe like <laughs> like bounds away and you're sitting there like god damn it it's your 12 on the check tyler and you have to keep going hunting um anyways so, uh, Rena, yeah, they're excited. Um, you, of course, make back not only your 50, 
um, mm -hmm. uh, that you put into it, not only you get back the double, so you get back the other 50, you actually earn an additional 73 gold. Oh, an additional 73 gold. Total in your pocket. Yeah. Let's go. A, that, that means that because other people won off of you winning too. That means this pot was probably easily 700 gold deep. Holy shit. So that is insane. Uh, when that happens, others are like come over, they start like grabbing you and like giving you hugs and stuff like that. And, and it's just one of those like funny things where people are like Arena's not a, 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 a like she's very much a MySpace kind of person. You know what I mean? Like she's kind of old. She definitely set one up. She was friends with Tom. I mean, definitely a MySpace kind of person. But um, especially in this scenario, like all the goblins are. <laughs> jumping on her and giving her like like these hugs and whatnot and it's one of those like you're so you, you've been drinking and you're so caught up in the moment i, I imagine she's actually like yeah like enjoying it. <laughs> she, yeah she's probably laughing with them there's even a funny moment where they try really hard to lift her up a little bit like a champion on the shoulders <laughs> there but her armor is so heavy i and know <laughs> she got that thick booty so it makes it like they, they cannot they, they cannot they cannot hoist her so it's like this sad effort where they really try and and it's like oh and they're like no and you hear like in their language effectively like a heave ho but then they just kind of give up <laughs> She's just oh, laughing at them while they're trying to do this. So she's probably like rolling, laughing. She's laughing so hard. Um. Anyways, they probably drop her backward. How's Yondas yeah. feel about this? I assume he's watching all of it. I, I assume he's know. off in the corner like this. At the other fire that I made in our Why tent. Why would it be like that, Scott? <laughs> no reason. No, explain. Go ahead. Me Why is that meditating. So he's meditating alone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was that him trying to focus? But then yeah, yes, like... yeah, he's really trying to focus. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's not what that was. Oh. Looking over his shoulder. Oh, uh, Chad whispering. Hey, man, she's lots of fun. Look at her. Like, <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, Chad. <laughs> hey, Chad, can you do Come me on, a favor? Come on, bro. Do like climbing on top of her. Jump in. Check in your mind when we get to Osto to find someone to rip you out of this ring. Huh. He's like, bro, too soon. Yeah, not soon enough. <clears throat> By the way, since cool. we're talking about Chad and I know who made and loves Chad, I, I, I was kind of going through old uh, uh, Lost Nation videos, just trying to double check on uh, comments to see if there's anything to like 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 or respond to whatever it is and i actually saw a video of oh sorry a comment from vid from about 11 months ago on lost initiative being like i did not realize tabletops were a thing that existed online i am now hooked for life it is and i saw vid's first comment and oh i was my god like, i love that oh vid this is awesome i don't even know who that is vid is know? the person who made chad yeah oh yeah, yeah. didn't know uh, she, she, I don't think she's here tonight, but but she's usually um, here for the sessions. She's probably just working late or whatever it is. But anyways, much love to Vid if you watch the VOD vid. So uh, moving on. The. Uh, um, yeah, so she's having fun. Messi's off to the mm -hmm. side, whatever it is. Eventually, Tyler, you grab something you can eat. Rena, you get like I said, you get buzzed. I imagine your character is not an idiot. Um, and you choose to spend the, the, the night here. Um, the goblins actually party kind of late and it's kind of loud, but they have a lot of fun. Like they're really fun, but they stay up to like four in the morning. Oh like, my God. I don't party with them that your, late. At very some much point, not your character's lifestyle. Yeah, I'll go back to over, over to like our camp, which is like a little ways away mm -hmm. and, uh, probably chill by the fire until she like passes out. Despite all that partying and everything. In the morning, they're still up and about by 9 a.m. They've already broke, pretty much gotten the camp ready to break down and, and go. Like, they were up and going. They're, they're groggy. They're grumpy. They're, they're not happy. But, you know, I'm sure it's just because they're goblins in daylight. I'm sure that's the only reason. You know, stereotype. Um, but, yeah, they're grog, groggy and grumpy and whatnot. But they get the camp ready to, to start moving. The caravans start rolling out. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Malik would go to you, sir. And would say, <clears throat> you can ride in cage if you'd like, but we are in open plains. 
I don't think you should stay in cage here. I think you should, you should be free. And then go in cage when you know what people watch. Like you said. Yeah, I figured I would go in the cage when I felt like it. Appreciate your insight. He nods and says, thank you. Um, uh, and then he actually will say, uh, he'll gesture towards a, a goblin that's walking up, one that you had seen passed out or whatever beforehand, and uh, say, and just point full on directly at your face, like, um, Zraz, this is Talk Snake that I told about. And uh, Zraz comes walking up and goes, oh, um, pleasure to meet you, Talking Snake. Yes, I am a Talking Snake. Um, he looks. He doesn't want to tell him his name because we're going to some place that's behind enemy lines, and he doesn't know if they'll just say it out loud a lot. Uh, he looks at you and says, "I once met a talking snake before, <clears throat> but did not look like you. Tall, had arms. I think it had legs, but it was a snake, and it talked. Told me that it grew up in a mountain." Did you grow up in a mountain too? He, he like tilts his head and like leans forward like towards him. It's kind of foreboding if you just see a large snake do this and he goes, what was their name? Um, thinks for a couple moments and says, Glugbug. And that uh, Mela kind of slaps his hand on his forehead and says, no. That was the name of what you drank last night. He's like, Ugh. oh, yeah. I don't remember the name. Um, um, it was short. We go. Da. This is Scott's pa. brain actually trying to remember a name. Pa. Ka! A small tear kind of rolls down the snake's eye. Snakes don't cry. Um, <laughs> you cry. You're crying, not me. No, uh, it's it, emotions are are like. There's. I'm trying to think of how that would be shown on a snake. It's how snakes but. cool themselves. So you, um, uh, so what is it? You say, he goes, Ka, yes. As far as I understand, Ka also worship the God in the mountain. Thank you. Um, and nods, he says, he kind of takes a step forward and places a hand on you. He knows you're not threatening because he's heard stories at this point. Places a hand on you, probably beneath your head, like on your neck or whatever it is, and says, God and Mountain is for all of us, and we are all for God and Mountain. We do our job and collect our riches and return them, and in return are richly rewarded. God and Mountain is good God. He keeps us warm in the winter, cool in the summer gives us safety, gives us home, gives us strength, gives us purpose. God and mountain exists, not just in mountain, but everywhere. And then he gestures like at your throat, even in heart. But you know, it's somewhere down there. You probably poked me right in my neck. <laughs> Yes, I am like Ka. And he'll turn and slither slither away over towards uh, Rena. Are we still at the camp at this point? Or are we traveling? Um, I think we're uh, packing up to leave. Yeah, packing up to oh, leave. Oh, okay. Yep. Then she's probably very tired, having stayed up, being so rowdy. But she's uh, getting herself together. He's going to go talk to one of you guys in a minute after it's because it's Tyler still the way, but you guys have your chat first. Rena. Oh, hi, Ophios. These goblins seem to 
well, one of them, have met the one who trained me. How old are they? What did they say? They said they had met a talking snake before. And I asked what their name was. And they were trying to figure it out. And it sounded very similar with Ka. And so I said Ka. And they recalled it. He must be alive. He must Good. have survived what happened to my clutch. I think it's important that we stick with this group. At least for now. Well, it makes travel a lot easier, so I don't disagree. But that's a good sign. I'm amazed he's still alive. I have a lot of questions for him. She nods. And like continues packing up her stuff. Uh, eventually Zaz is going to go over and um, uh, to speak with a group of you again. No, Zaz, sorry, uh, Malik, and say, <clears throat> um, I had consultation with Zaz, Zraz, and um, I told Zraz that you will be uh, traveling with us and that you have place that you need to go. I express to Zraz concern, but we talk and he pray. He pray to God in the mountain about if you are bringing danger, if travel with you to this uh, land of Perrin uh, would bring weal or woe. And God and Mountain respond and says that we should bring caravan to this city. There is much trade that can be happened there. Even heard of name Atlin? Atlislin? It's hard to say, dumb name. But there's a family there that is good for trade trade much things we want trade so we will go with you to um the uh, city of perrin for the atlasalan family for a trade does the Andis respond <laughs> uh no he's he's pretty shocked but uh not crazy shocked Weird coincidence. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd call attention to it. I think I'd just nod my head and go with it for now. Okay. Uh, does Rena, uh, could Rena even discern what the hell they were trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> she knows what they're saying. I don't mean Rena, like you. I mean, like the destroyer Rena. Not yes. Rena gets destroyed by all video games, Rena. The other one. Yes. Yes, she would be able to figure it out, dude. It's not that cryptic. Hey, cryptic! How you doing, buddy? Anyway. I, I kind of wish it was a little bit more cryptic. Cryptic's pretty awesome. Ophios will simply say, don't worry. We are danger. If danger comes. Um, they, they, they nod. Well, we pack to leave. Um, <clears throat> mountain, the God of the mountain gives blessings. We will take blessings and run with them. <laughs> wow. Cell, um, seriously? Are you talking about purchasing people again? Jesus Christ, Cell. <clears throat> The hell's the matter with you? It's not Monday night. Keep it in your pants. Wow. 
Some people, man. I know, seriously. Back to the game. If you guys want to lead, I can cover the rear in case something approaches from the back. Obviously, we are going to be in parallel lands, so there are concerns. She nods. That way, also, it just looks like a snake following a caravan. Sure. On the shitty scale, Scott, how shitty do, does she feel? Uh, honestly, like I said, you got you got pretty buzzed last night, but like not not full on. You know what I mean? Like like Dark Souls mm -hmm. drinking, not like you know uh, not Nozlock drinking, and Messi's fucking keeps screwing up every. Mm -hmm. So yes, so yes or no? Because uh, she's got fine. those you medicines okay. that are okay. She you feels feel okay. fine for now. Then I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, yeah. You drink some extra water. You have. You know, it's one of those things where you sweat a little extra in the, earlier in the day. You definitely eat earlier than you maybe you usually should. And and you're like, do you have any bacon? And they do absolutely, absolutely have bacon. They oh. actually have they actually have a selection of nine different types of bacon. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Five of them are different types of pig bacon, and four of them are from different animals. We're gonna do the pig bacon. <laughs> sure. Do you, do you want boar bacon, pig bacon, um, uh, uh, warthog bacon? Um, uh, do you want bacon that has, et cetera, et cetera. Doesn't matter. Yeah, she'll just pick some bacon. And, um. Then she'll pack, like, a little, like, snack bag that she can reach into as they travel. And, uh, so, so anyways, and you guys start traveling. Honestly, at this point, traveling with caravan, you guys have an easy alibi for anything. If you're traveling by people and you're like, ah, we don't really want to get noticed. Uh, and do they have horses? They no. Wait, to draw the caravan? Yeah, they have just two. They have they have oxen. They have oxen. Yeah, because oxen are more are easier in mountains than horses are. Oh, sorry, not, no, no, sorry. I guess. Sorry, I think mountain goats, isn't it? They have mountain goats or oxen. One second, I don't remember. It's either mountain goats or oxen, whatever it is. She'll try to walk a majority of the way, but if she like she, like probably will intermittently like. Sit on oh, the back of the caravan. Or something. I was gonna ask about your leg, um, in RP. Yeah. That. Yeah. Okay. So like, I, wait, I imagine travel. we head up towards like the front of the caravan and just start walking as they follow. Okay. Do, do you want to lead? I feel like we should follow them. That way, if anything happens to Ophios, we'll be the ones who know. Right. So go like caravan us sure. snake. I mean, the car caravan isn't one wagon. That's multiple wagons. That's what I was going to say. It, was, yeah. it seems like a bunch of them. Yeah. So it's it's three. It's a few wagons. Ophios so, was just so saying you guys can us sit towards in the between. front somewhere. Yeah. You like you imagine sitting on the just back, like them. the bumper okay. of the front wagon. You know what I mean? Okay. Can, I don't know how strong mountain goats are. So, so no, 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 no. I don't mean like ibex. I mean like the, think like D and D, like mean, like big ox. Like, like they look like ibex. Some D's ones. Um, uh, but either that or they can, uh, either that or like oxen. I'm not sure. I have to, I have to double check, but that's fine either way. Go ahead. Oh, uh, Tyler, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> that's the word. Nice fucking going, Just flip it. nerd. Yeah. L nerd, L nerd. Okay. Um, what the fuck was I doing? Okay. Yeah. So we're just like in the mix of the caravan then with the snake tailing behind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so I imagine this would be probably not for a while. Like this would be for probably after like an hour or two of walking. Um, Yondas will speak to you for the first time today and say, um, so how's the, how's the leg doing? It's fine. It could be better, but it could be worse. Is it getting easier every day? That's hard to say. But, uh, it would seem so. Having the, um, medicine helps. It smells a little funny. Hey, um... I'm sorry that happened to you. 
gen- genuine confusion on her face. But she's listening. If you don't, like, take that well, then he'll just kind of, like, glance away and, like, shake his head and then, like, face back towards your direction but not look at you and say, um... How did you get to us so quickly? Uh, Abstergo. It was him. He um, helped me astral project, he called it. But it was uh, different than the first time that we did. Yeah. That's real dangerous stuff. Yeah, he, yeah, he said that multiple times. I uh, didn't really care. Yeah, like you could seriously, like, die from that. Yeah, that's yep, what he said. Mm-hmm. We uh, ended up pulling our our bodies to us after we um, oh, wow made it to where Ophios and. One Even was. with 13 by my side, I'm not sure I'd attempt that. I didn't really have uh, hmm. any other way. Yeah, I, I know. Because, uh... Because I got caught in the final stretch. Thanks for saving him. You shouldn't have had to do that. Ophios? Yeah. I would have done it anyway. I know. It was... uh, odd seeing him... So different. Yeah, he's... It's like... Talking to someone else. Sometimes. Just an appearance. It's like the same Ophios in a... Just someone else pretending to be him sometimes. Hopefully this is what he wanted. I can't go back now. I'm sure he's accepted it. So, um, so you met 13, and, uh, he went with you, right? Yeah. He's, uh, she's, she looks, like, annoyed, um, talking about him. He's a real piece of work. Is he well? I haven't seen him since I left him in the temple. Yeah, he seems totally fine. We talked about Jen. He told me some pretty important things about her. So he was with us in that place the whole time? She nods. Most likely. I told him uh, he had terrible timing when he showed up. Why didn't he speak to me? Hmm. So him and Jen, you said he was with her. Doesn't really seem with her. It's hard to explain. He um, called her a just... Like she's his tool, some someone he just uses for convenience sake to get whatever he's trying to get. But, but he's training her, her pawns, I assume. I mean, the magics that they used were on par with my own. 
she doesn't do believe that? she doesn't believe everything that he has told her. I know. I spoke to her. I know. He said that she well, has to find home? out her own way, but uh, I don't. Hmm. He thinks that she could still be useful. He's just sort of waiting Sorry, for her to, to finish whatever this is. Her investigation. Want to stop that. It just doesn't make sense to me as to why he would train more. I mean, I spent years with the guy. These people that, that are under Jen can match my power and they haven't spent nearly as long studying like me. We didn't talk. We didn't speak uh, too much more. Beyond that, I was focused on just getting back uh, to Ophios. And he so would he... leave intermittently. So did we lose him in Sun's Rest then? He left. Uh, when we, um, well, when I got there, uh, Jen and Elijah were speaking, so I, I couldn't quite catch what they were saying as Ophios was, uh, breaking out. After, after he broke out. It looked like Elijah was about to attack him. I assumed it was because he didn't realize it was him, but that didn't seem to make any sense. As I don't he was know there the guy, the whole but time. from what you tell me, he's really smart. And um, I mean, he's met Sloko before, right? He knows Ophios, yeah. Sorry, my cat was banging on the door. Anyway, I... He knows Ophios? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I stopped him. Uh, he realized what he was doing. He left the room to find Jen. They spoke again, but I don't know what about. I didn't have time to find them. Or her. I spoke with Elijah. After that, uh... Is Elijah well? I mean, he's been watching Opios for some time in that terrible place. Must have been happy to see you. I guess. Yeah. Again, I don't know him. Well, I, um, I guess I feel kind of guilty about what happened in Hod Gwen, and, uh, just wanted you to know that I, um, appreciate all the effort and stuff. With the Sometimes blink. I feel like I'm not, uh, uh, with Ophios in general. I guess, but you know, it's really everything. I feel like you've pulled the most weight out of the two of us. I'm not sure about Ophios. He's kind of got a disclaimer since he's been away for so long. I guess I was too, but not really. Why the change of heart? What do you mean? Seems uh, a little out of character for you. For me to feel guilty. Not to feel I meant what you're saying. Um, thank you. I guess. 
Yeah, sure. <sighs> you sure that leg's gonna hold up? No. Does it ever get itchy? Sorry. It hurts all the time. Yeah, I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Maybe, um... Maybe we can find you something better. I don't know. Maybe there's a great healer in Osto that I don't know of. What is it? I'll figure something out. You know what we're likely going back to, right? Yeah, I've been trying to take my mind off it. Sorry. That's no, okay. Do you think I'll she's still there? It. Probably. <laughs> I imagine now she must have mixed feelings about this too. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Right. I'm gonna go uh, check on the snake. Okay. And then he'll kind of like hold back and just stand still as the caravan passes him by till he catches up with Ophios. Or I guess I should say Ophios catches up with him. Oh, you're muted, Tyler. This? You don't see me? No, I'm I'm rolling that simply for while while you guys were talking behind the caravan, like looking around. They see him rolling, uh, but he doesn't notice them, so they continue watching him rolling. <laughs> so I guess nothing. You don't see anything. You're blinded yeah. for minutes at a time. Blinded by the snake. So I imagine he eventually comes up and sees Ophio standing there. Is everything all right? Yeah, I was going to ask you the same thing. Um, kind of wanted to check in and see how you're liking the new form. We hadn't really talked much. I'm still getting used to it. Being this yeah. large is significantly different. Yeah. And you, um, sorry. Dude. Oh, I was gonna say a lot of things feel different. Yeah, you um think you can still fight the same? I feel like a shield won't fit you well. Maybe a bigger one, but as of right now I that one is rather small. Maybe you can make one. You said a bigger one. Yes. Hmm. That could work. I'll keep that in mind. I'm, um... It's, it's good to have you back. It's good to have you back. You think... You think maybe, uh... When we eventually fight to the death, it'll be a good one. <laughs> I'll be able to actually laugh. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't eat you. At least make sure I'm dead before you do. I'm gonna go sit in the caravan. Um, good luck out here. Just shout if you need it. Of course. And then he'll jog to catch back up. That's all I wanted to do. Scott, that's all I wanted to do. We're good. <laughs> Put the stash away, Scott. I can't. I've, I've had one for 18 years. Did you put a mustache on me again? Um, No, actually, I swear to you, I did not. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I swear to you, I did not. Chad, can you confirm that I did not put a mustache on him? You put it on Yondas or Messi. Hmm. <laughs> 
It's been on my name for a while, but he put it on himself. I put Messi on my stash, if you know what I'm saying. Um, all right. <clears throat> Shut up. I wouldn't do that. You'll get pink guy. Pink guy. All right. Um, bu -bu 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 uh, Rena, uh, to answer your question to me, the simple response that you receive is, um, it was not. That's it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Anyways, back to game. So you um are are um ba 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 ba. You guys start traveling with the goblins. It's honestly kind of entertaining because the goblins during the day when they move, they move. They don't slack. They don't slouch. They don't. They're not lazy by any stretch of the imagination. They make some pretty friggin' good distance. Like, like some really good distance. <clears throat> Uh, one of the things that you guys realize is that even the ox, which are, are the ox in which are doing most of the work, they seem to be fine with it. Like they enjoy seem, seemingly, you know, as far as you can understand an animal, um, that is no obvious, enjoy the work. Um, uh, traveling great distances, not seeming to slow down. The goblins themselves, like take turns of like jogging alongside these things um, or sitting up inside the caravans. Most of them are usually inside the caravans. Um, as they travel along, you guys wanting to sit on the back bumper of the front uh, wagon, that's not an issue. They don't they don't mind it at all. There's just occasionally like, excuse me, as they like kind of like push past you or between you to kind of like hop off or hop in. And they they make incredible uh, uh, timing on it. So after a full day of travel, you guys make, again, some some great distance. You're out of a deer um, into, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Paradell. Excuse me. Out of it there, it's a parallel, and about as far as uh, uh, Chisotl. Like, about as far as that, but you can tell that these goblins don't intend to go to uh, Chisotl at first. They actually set up camp outside of Chisotl. Um, and there's a bit of conversation that you can hear that, that evening as they're settling into the evening and setting up their, their resting point of talks about whether or not they even want to go into the city itself and, and so on and so forth. And you can hear um, uh, Malik being like, um, well, there is a you know, that's why we brought them with us, isn't it? You know, to, to open up trade. I don't know if your characters would interject at any point in time be like, yeah, we'll bring you there tomorrow. Or if you're like, honestly, let's just beeline it to Osto and let them like, oh, no, no, no. Let's wait until we get to the real place. Like, I don't know how your characters would think. Yondas. OPS old approach you. Yeah. How much of in a hurry are we to get to Osto? Well, my father's on his deathbed, so. So quickly. If possible. Very well. I will move and try and figure out this body more as we travel. In the meantime, I think if the goblins are up for it, we could bring them into town quickly to entertain or sell goods. Doesn't mean you. But I think it's only fair since it's what they are offering us is this travel with them. So, you want me to keep going? I'm not saying we split up, no. I'm saying we quickly bring them into town and then head out. They do a quick show with their fire hoops or whatever they're called. Allow them to offer up goods and then we continue on. If that I is... guess it would be a good trial to see how people react to a goblin caravan that aren't us. I imagine the town will be too receptive. Maybe we can get some practice in. Yes. All right. And I think it's worthwhile, but just <clears throat> no more than a night, please. 
I wouldn't even have planned to make it an entire day. All right. If you want to offer, we should. Rena, are you okay with this? Oh, I didn't oh my God, I was Rena's here for this <laughs> conversation. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I thought I wasn't. Good. Rena, no. you, how long have you been on the back of that caravan? I don't yeah. know. Just, just shut up. Uh. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, if if you weren't there, because I didn't specify, did you? would you have been around Giannis? I imagine we would when like camp set up and stuff. Uh, it's not like I'm avoiding yeah, if we him. We have a camp set up, then absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, I guess I could be there for that conversation. She she would probably just ask. Um... No, never mind. She's not gonna ask. She just uh, agree. They seem to like you, Ophios, if you want to be the one to tell them. I think that's simply because I can speak their language. Who knows how long I've been. Pretty sure they think you're cute. 99% sure they just like seeing a giant snake. I think that's uh, fascinating. Plus you're nice than them. I threatened them. It's different. You did yawn, though. Oh, they're goblins. Have you ever seen a snake yawn? I was tired and hungry. <laughs> yeah, you go talk to them. They like you more. Fair. Maybe I'll even let the one ride me into town. Oh, I don't know if you need to go that far. Save that he, for a big ask. He was he, He's laughing <laughs> as he goes off. Uh, Ophios would go ahead and approach the, the head person and then Glenn let him know that his thoughts about when approaching the town for entertainment first, goods later, and then embark as quickly as possible thereafter. Okay. Um, and, uh, uh, but in Chisotl or just at Chisotl. Osto? So you would Chisotl. actually want to do that? So if you do that, though, they wouldn't be tonight, obviously. That'd be tomorrow. It'd be tomorrow morning. So speaking of tonight, there's games. There's partying. They drink. They have a lot of fun. They do this thing all over again. Um, this time, however, the food that they make is very different because they have different supplies to them to make the food. Um, uh, I don't know how much, you know, <clears throat> Rena cares to get involved or if she's just like the novelty of the first time. Or if she just genuinely has fun with like their their goofiness, um, especially to break up the seriousness of the day and and, and whatnot, um, if, if something like this might actually be entertaining for her, I don't know. Rena, does she participate? Um, probably not again, just because she's got a lot on her mind, so she she wouldn't fully participate. Like she'd eat and drink, but then. Yeah, I get Probably it. It's one of those like like camp. on the outer ring of the party, having a drink, maybe occasional conversation, pretty infrequent, but mostly just watching the fun with like a a little smile in the corner of the the mouth from time to time as they do something that just she finds amusing. But overall, just really needs the space tonight. So this is last night. You got hugs by like more people than you've allowed touch you um, ever in my life. Yeah, ever. I mean, not. I mean. Certainly not anywhere near as much of people as you killed, you know, or the number of souls you've said. Starts like, counting yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many. Hmm. But, was oh, it a hug or was it were they just stabbing them through the heart? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So either way, so you um, uh, you guys, uh, the, they, they party that night. And again, it's one of those, when you guys are pretty regimented and you try to go to sleep, God, they're loud. Like, they're really loud. They... They party a good bit. It's probably one of those things where she just lays there with her eyes open like all night <laughs> until she fight until they shut up. No. Uh, I would say when they're doing the celebrations and eating and stuff like that, Ovios would wander off a little bit and try and figure out his what he what he can do from what he's used to being able to do and what is different with his his magic because. He's in a completely different form. He doesn't fully understand this body. He's still trying to figure everything out. You used to be able to uh, uh, mate with humanoids 
you can't anymore. So that, that that's a change. Um, you also uh, run extremely hot. Um, you're um, you're very hot blooded, uh, as you know. But uh, honestly, you of course know your character, so try, try to get um, uh, used to like the ins and outs, the way he moves, all this stuff. It's strange because it's natural to him, as though it's been his body forever. But at the same time, on the like uh, the intellectual scale, like his instinctive movements, I want to walk from here to there, works no problem. But it's like his like when he's actually thinking about doing something. It, 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 as an example, if you're gonna walk from point A to point B in a room. You just do so. You don't think anything of it. But then there's like people around that you know are kind of watching you. And it's kind of like important what they think of you in that moment. Maybe you just did an interview, whatever it is. And every step is one of those like, does my foot fall the right way? Do I look like a goddamn ostrich right now? Like it just feels awkward, right? And and so um, it's one of those you've been, it's been several days or whatever it is since you came out of the tank. Uh, and you hadn't put much thought into it because it was more of just trying to re-emerge yourself into what the hell's going on around me how long was i gone that whole bit but now that you're actively thinking about it you just you do feel a little off but um you're hoping that the instincts eventually settle back in and you'll be fine like for instance you never chose to burn people up until this point right mm -hmm. instincts took care of that for you and you can imagine that'll continue to put to drive it moving forward cool yeah it's more or less movement and combat, wielding his weapon, understanding his magics, all of that. So he's like striking a tree and working on his movements and flow and different things like that to get used to his body. Exactly. Get used to his body on a cognizant level. Because again, the, the, the um, uh, instinctive already works. Correct. And the he's next... far enough away because he does. he's not in snake form. He doesn't want the goblins to see him in his other form right now uh the next day the goblins will approach the city and they try to put on their charm um hey vid are you still here yay or nay can can i add a little flavor to this uh oh <clears throat> need salt so when we approach the city it's not just a caravan of of goblins there's a snake in a cage at the front mm-hmm and, uh, and probably me and Rena. A bunch of the other animals. <laughs> at the front. Like, no. he, Ophios told them the preface, the Stay front. Stay in the wagon. Go ahead. The preface, the front, with the, the point. interesting creatures. Things that they could visually see and have interest in. So the bird, the giant snake, which is Ophios, and, like, all the other, like, creatures that they have. Yeah, you want to roll up, like, it's friggin' Barley and Bannikin, or yeah. what the hell is that? Yeah, what's that like, called? Uh, Barnum like you and Bailey's. Yeah, like you abuse animals and bring them on the road. Yeah. That, that yeah, like anymore. a circus. Yeah. yeah, a circus. That's the word. It's a good look. Yeah. 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 And so he told them like as we're approaching, he asked them if they could do their ring tossing while moving on the wagon. So it's actually what they're going to do. So as I was going to say, there's a bit of showmanship as they as they arrive. The ring tossing they already intended to do. They're like, everybody likes fire. Um, which is funny because Ophios is like, I do. <laughs> um... Anyways, Vid, um, for their showmanship, they do have a plus um, uh, seven. Vid, can you roll me a d20, please, to see how good their showmanship is? So we'll wasn't the, the reason that they brought us in to them, uh, with them to travel, was so that uh, we could, like, Oh, yeah, you can. Sorry. People? Yeah. You, you can, Messi. You guys know it's a bad okay. idea for Rena. But you, Yes. You'll be like, no, 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 don't worry about her. I oh, got this. Okay. They'll be like, they be like, uh, you say, so they'll be like, oh, you guys go, you're like, yeah, don't worry about her. They'll do this. And one of them will point at, at Rena and say, her? Oh, sorry. Um, And then say, just you? Not uh, her? Just me. Nods and goes, okay. And Rena will go climb and hide inside the wagons. <clears throat> Uh, so that's uh, with a plus seven. That's a twenty-one. Noise indeed. They put in a bit of a show. Uh, 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 approaching the uh, uh, the place and get attention. Massey, you go over there. You smooth things over, and we don't need to get any more detail into it than this. Things just kind of go well. You've uh, showmanship, and they have some trade and whatnot goes on. They actually uh, say they're like, "Want to see something fun?" And they literally just get, like the, the town offers chickens, and they put chickens in the cage with Ophios, and Ophios just starts eating like. 
he gets handed chickens. He's like, okay. <laughs> and they just feed him live animals. And they're all like, look at the size. It doesn't even try. Like, would he eat a whole goat? And Ophios is like, I ate just yesterday. I could probably have some goat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really full. <laughs> So, Ophios, if you want to edutain them one step more, go ahead and make me a constitution save. All right. One more goat. One, one more, more goat. goat. All so right. So, bring out this goat, and Ophios is like, I don't know. That's a pretty D's looking goat. It doesn't look young either. And he's like, and he, he's like, I don't know if I want to eat it. And they're like, no, you have to eat this goat. It's same as Brady. And he's just like, fucking swallows that thing still like <laughs> inside of his throat. And he's like, that's right. Fucking get in there. <laughs> he doesn't do that. He bites it, throws it in the air and catches it and swallows it whole that way. There's a little bit of flavor to this one. <laughs> that's right. It didn't move very quickly, though. It tried to run away. It's seasoned. It didn't move very quickly. <laughs> it's seasoned. <laughs> All right. Anyways, sorry. Um, so, yeah, you uh, uh, it, it, things go well and you guys move on. Actually, the goblins are so excited that things go as well as they do. Last thing I'm going to say about this and we get you back on the road and jump cut. Um, roll me a perception check. All three of you. Uh, Rena, disadvantage. Okay. Not bad for me. Bad for Rena. Not Rena bad, just, to be honest. Uh, Rena doesn't notice anything whatsoever. As a matter of fact, she just makes like a lot of noise while she's in there because the wagons weren't made for medium-sized people. And she's inside the wagon, kind of like, ah, oh, keeps hitting her head and stuff. She probably shouldn't be wearing her armor. She could more easily move around with like litheness, like being more lithe in there if she wasn't wearing plate all over. Oh, sorry. Uh, anyways, so messy. What did you get? 25? Jesus. I got a 20 and then I rolled psychic. So um, one of the things, I guess we'll give it to messy because Tyler's busy eating things and being full. Um, and very full to the point to when we leave, he's going to say, I can't eat next time <laughs> unless it's a few days. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so anyways, that was not funny. Oh my God. <sighs> so anyways, when you, um, uh, uh, what do you notice, uh, messy while you're there is they sell a lot of goods. They don't trade in coin at all. They sell a bunch of stuff, like tons of wares and they make a ton of coin doing it. So they like earn a gross amount of coin um, uh, while they're there uh, doing this sort of a thing. That's one of the things that you kind of like pick up and they keep all that coin in the middle wagon. That seems to be where they go in there. They have chests like like um, uh, not rounded tops, like squared chests. Almost imagine like a, like a hope chest at the foot of your bed, right? And they just throw the coin in there, lock it shut and leave it on shelves in there. Shelves like um, sarcophagi or, or whatnot instead of a tomb. You know, um, and they move on. I imagine there's no more RP at this point, so we can jump cut to literally Osto. There's little towns and whatnot you guys pass by, but after Chisotl, who the fuck cares until you get to Osto? And Osto, once again, it's relatively easy to get into. Rena, um, you were playing it safe beforehand, but honestly, you know, you get that whole um, um, uh, uh, hood up as you go walking in. I just, for a second there, imagined Rena putting on like a little cute little sweater, throwing like a little hood up over her head. And then all of a sudden looks like cryptic and uh, goes walking in to the- uh, uh, It goes down and it's like, not me after. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, like a TikTok video, right? No, oh, yeah, it's a transition. That's well, that'd exactly be a cool TikTok, down. right? Like girls wearing their boyfriend's favorite sweater and they're like with the hood on, they look up and, or like the guy put in the girl, you know, right? I just made, I just made it. It's going to be a thing. That's gonna be fire. It's lit, fam. Let's get lit, fam. Like two years ago. Oh, damn it. See, yeah, I knew what was popular. I lateral thinking years later. Except it was it was a bit more generic than that. Huh. So you know what? One second. Oh no. So you got no, so what's nine plus ten? Twenty one? You stupid. No, I'm not. That's that's the whole thing.
use this the well, way that's good. Not. Oh my god. It's lit, oh, fam. <laughs> Was that you did that, though? You did that like a DM, though. You literally did that like you were going to be like, it was dark and stormy. Yeah, he did. He really Am I did. holding it? Like you held it like in front of your face. Kunai. It's like, is that like? Uh... Oh my god, you're so bad. You even wave it to put it out instead of just like. Yeah, because it gets it. more smell. Because it gets more of that yeah, gimme smell. Rena, why are you holding a knife? Why not? It's three D printed. Why you have a 3D Do you know with somebody with a three D printer? Yes. Yeah. My sister. Ooh, I'm calling really? the police. Luna? No, uh, that is my not oh, my sister. sister. Sorry, your sister. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. So back to game. Uh, is it metal or plastic? It's plastic. Yeah, I mean most it's commercial kind of three D printers are plastic, so it better could be. Um, all right, back I could to probably game. Probably stab somebody with it. You <laughs> definitely could stab somebody with it. You could stab somebody with something weaker than that. Don't you know who Paper Star is? Did you not watch Carmen San Diego? Rena, you can stab me with that. It would hurt. Oh, probably break. Probably would. I'd get a piece of plastic stuck in me. It'd be bad. That sounds horrible. It would definitely yeah. break. It's kind of bendy. You know, you have a lot of tiny pieces of microplastic stuck in you right now. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. all in my intestines and everything. I mean, we all do. You about to go on a rant right now? Yeah, but Let's who see. isn't in Tyler's intestines? Well, it depends on which way you got there. <laughs> wow, Scott. Wow. They might in your in dreams. I mean, in your dreams. I call them memories, but that's fine. In your dreams. Man's is trying to get gutsy. Just because the memory is of a previous dream doesn't make it a memory. It's still a dream. Sure. Yeah. Whatever you say. Well, has Ophios ever Top eaten? tier sub to Typhro. That's all I got to say. Has Ophios ever eaten one of Scott's creations? Because if so, and then in a way, Scott has entered Tyler's intestines. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Stop. By D&D move, logic. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving forward with the story. We make it to Osto. You're in Osto? The goblins do their little shtick. You make uh, it into the town. Well, we got to take a ferry in, right? Why do we the have only way in? No, you can. You oh. don't have to. Yeah, yeah. We'll have jump for joy. Roll this d twenty uh, again with a plus. Uh, will it actually say that you guys got better at it? And instead of a plus seven, it's a plus nine because of the pointers you guys give. Wow. Yeah. I was gonna say they should have advantage. J j oh, advantage. Okay, jump for joy and Steve roll. Boom. Thank oh, God uh, you said Steve. that. <laughs> Steve. So it's, it's still plus seven. <laughs> but Steve? Jesus. I'm glad I said uh, that Steve, before she just... before she freaking rolled. Joy, you're a disappointment. Steve, oh. you are not much better, sir. That is a 13. So a 13. Yeah. You guys want to I'm luck gonna... it for them? I am lucking it for them. That's right. We got a 16. I'm throwing my dice away. <laughs> I know of a good gaming shop in Portland. Um, when you picked Joy, I was away. like, we need advantage pronto. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Sorry, Joy. I just haven't seen you roll high at all in chat. <laughs> um, oh, what the hell's the name of that place, by the way? Joy, can you roll one more time? Just one more time. Roll D twenty. A one on a oh! two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Joy. Yeah, oh, Scott, don't no. ask Joy to ever roll anything yeah. for us again. Yeah. <laughs> Joy, you are Who the a one. A one at D100. Yeah. A one at D20. Oh, my God. Oh, Joy. That's tough. That's, That's tough. tough. I was supposed to look up a, the name of a really cool beer place in Saco for you, but now you don't get it. Sorry. Sorry. Um, well, uh, I didn't do very well either. Uh, moving on. So, back to game. Uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you picked two of the worst rollers in chat. Um, wow. Well. Look at me. Hey, you brought you brought, you were trying to bring Wade. Oh, you tried to summon too. Wade. That wasn't me. That was sleepy. That was sleepy. Oh, right. sleepy. Oh, gotcha. Everybody keeps stealing my rolls. Well, you know, get good. Ha ha! I stole Rena's. Oh, meaning of life. <laughs> oh, my rolls. Meaning of life, right there. Boom. Damn it! I saw. Oh, you rolled my. You rolled me. I'm thirty six. <laughs> Cryptic rolled a five. Uh, yeah, plus 20. 
Dang, out of the Four. PCs, I rolled the highest. <laughs> Rainer rolled Messi's right. age. All right, uh, so here. let's... um. Last try. Uh, Steve rolled Rena's age. So it's I rolled a Scott's 16. Age again. Fuck you. It's a 16, <laughs> Scott. Rena, ain't you 30? I have two years, years, bro. Come Are on. you sure? You look 30. Come on, bro. I got I have Scott. two years. Scott. So you guys uh, easily make your way into uh, uh, Osto. The showmanship isn't so great, so there's not much of a crowd that gathers up. But it's still Osto. So even if it's not a particularly good show, it's still a show in an extremely densely We're popular. Even if you see like the worst street performer in New York, there's still people standing around and and and, and checking them out or tossing. Yeah, because they're from Wisconsin, and their fucking joy in life is watching corn sprout. Hey, I matched their performance. Sorry. Are you talking about Doxy? <laughs> I said Wisconsin. Doxy's that, not from Wisconsin. She's that's from Idaho. Iowa. Oh. She's from Iowa. I, I don't know. Yeah. One of the I states. Indiana. I don't know. One of them. So. <laughs> yeah, they're all the same. All the same. Yeah. I matched their performance perfectly with the 16. Illinois, Idaho, Indiana. Yeah, they're all the same. All the same. Uh, there's also... Oh, you say Illinois. Okay, yeah. I was like, there's four of them, aren't there? There's yeah. four. Okay, moving on. So, um, um, uh, ba, 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 ba. so yeah, you go, you guys go in Jersey. there. They, uh, are, are, uh, kind of distracted, uh, by them, so on and so forth. Gives an opportunity. Everything goes very, very, very well. But as they, the, uh, opening performance is happening by several of the goblins handling that, or I should say a couple dozen handling it, um, Melek will actually come out and, um, and have a conversation with you. Be like, well, thank you so much for traveling with us here and, and making us so we don't die. We're finally going to go meet with, with the, uh, 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 hold on. Adelite Lynn. Elite Lynn. Uh, what? Elite Lynn. Ah, uh, Lee, Lynn, Ah, Lee, Lynn family, and uh, and make trades with them. Um, we were told that they are. So we were um um uh, blessed with the knowledge that that is where we'll make the most of our of our of our money. Yep. Um. Something I should probably tell you. I'm uh. Hoping you do well. Oh. He nods. He goes, I thought you were going to say pregnant. <laughs> and then uh, says, uh, well, we'll um, meet up when we leave so we can keep heading south. So you're going straight to where to make your trades? South? No, sorry, here in town. A Leland. Yeah, where are you going to meet with them? Um, I, that, that is, um, uh, Zraz knows. Zraz has communicated, um, uh, consistently with the God of the Mountains. And, uh, the God of the Mountain has, has told Zraz, uh, where it is, a uh, warehouse that, um, has uh, many uh, things for, right. for trade. Do you want me to point it out to you on a map? Mm -hmm. Um... There's maps and cities? I think so. <laughs> um, in this one, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> Is there a city map in Osto, the capital of Paradell? I imagine. Yeah. Imagine there's plenty. Yeah, like like, like yeah. one of those like welcome stations? Yeah. I mean, Paradell is yeah. pretty advanced. Uh, yeah, do you see that booth Paradell. over there with the big blue eye? That's where you get the maps. Just don't hit the button. Little mini men will start singing a creepy song. Oh, if, I, 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 I was always be like, what happens when you press the button? A gnome appears. It's a, Hello? they kill it. It's a Shrek reference. A Shrek reference. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Some of you may die. A sacrifice. I'm willing to, to make. make. So, um. <clears throat> That's anyways. obvious when he let the barn on fire. I mean, what? So yeah, you guys uh, are, are, I imagine, going separate ways at this point. Uh, I say we take a quick break. I'm going to pee. Gather your thoughts. Let's wrap this up. Okay. Can we hold hands this time? Normally when we pee, you make me stand three feet back, but I always miss the toilet. Well, I try to sit as far back we... as possible, keep my legs as wide as possible so you can... 
So you can get like okay. the same timing. Okay. But, 